Hi Wonders, welcome back to Jog My Memory. This video is looking at horizontal strata in structural geomorphology, which is useful for grade 10, 11, and grade 12. Basically, horizontal strata are formed in two ways. One is when sediments are deposited by rivers on flood plains and they harden to form horizontal layers of sedimentary rock. The second way is when lava flows out onto the earth's surface in layers, forming hard igneous rock. This hard rock or cap rock gives rise to landscapes. Let's look at the formation of landscapes from horizontal strata. Basically, the hard cap rock is not easily eroded. The rivers erode steep valleys called canyons in weak points in the cap rock. The valleys are separated by wide plateaus, which are the high-lining flat areas. The landform is eroded from the side in a process called scarp recession. This is when the soft rock layers under the cap rock are eroded from the sides of the plateau and the plateau becomes narrower. The mesa and then a butte are formed. The butte may be further eroded to form a pointed butte. These landforms remain at the same height because of their hard cap rock on the top. This cap rock can be eroded away completely to form a conical hill. Beaches such as mesas and buttes are common in arid regions like the Karoo. Now that we understand the formation of landscapes, let's look at their usefulness. Basically, landscapes with canyons and plateaus act as a tourist attraction. The mesas and buttes are too steep to build or farm on. The flat land between the mesas and buttes are suitable for roads and farming. The reference I used is Mind the Gap Geography Study Guide for Grade 12. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button, comment for any questions and share to anyone who may find this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Feel free to drop me an email on jogmymemory at gmail.com. Continue jogging your memory and keep wondering with me.